kids, this is teacher Harriet and welcome to our online class. So let's continue with our lesson for today. So we are going to use your student's book and your workbook, Extra and Friends. Color orange book na ka, okay? So let's start. Our subject for today is about English. And our topic is about my family part 2. Okay, so we have here our main topic is about apostrophe S. Naka, okay, so let's read first your vocabulary. Number 1. Okay, this is the one I'm talking about a while ago. Our main topic is apostrophe. 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 Okay. Number two, pink. Pink. Nk. This one, you read this one. Nk. Pink. Next, we have orange. Orange. Number four, br own. brown. Brown. Number five, we have yellow. Yellow. Number six, we have com. Computer, computer, computer. Number seven, we have jump, jump, m, p, m and p, jump. Number eight, clap, clap, clap. And number nine, we have sad, sad. And number ten, we have hand, hand. Okay, very good grade three. Next, let's go with our main topic, apostro, apostrophe S. This one, apostrophe S. This one, we call this one apostrophe and then S. Apostrophe S. This is our main topic for today. Apostrophe S in names. Okay, so if example na, Harriet. Teacher Harriet. Okay, Teacher Harriet. Okay, we are going to learn the apostrophe in my name. Okay, this one. What is the use of apostrophe in, in our name or in your name? Naka. So, we have here apostrophe. We have here pasatay apostrophe. Naka. Okay, apostrophe. Next, how do we use apostrophe S and in names? Okay, what's the meaning of apostrophe S in a name? Use an apostrophe S, this one letter S, this one, to show that one person or thing owns, owns it or a member of a group. Okay, so for example... I have a pen, and you will say, this is Teacher Harriet's pen, okay? It shows that one, one person or thing owns, owns it, okay? It or a member of a group, okay? So, if I am a member of a group, Teacher Harriet is a mem teacher, Hi teacher Harriet's a member of a group, or Teacher Harriet's a member of in Simit group, okay? That's an example. We have more examples. For example, for you to be clearer, we have here a picture, okay? So, this picture is a kite, am I? So, this is a kite and this is Mike. So, we are going to say that this kite is Mike kite. We cannot say this is Mike kite. We can say it Mike's kite. Okay, so his name is Mike and then we add apostrophe S so that we know that the kite owns by Mike. Okay, it's Mike's kite, meaning the kite is, uh, the kite owns by Mike. This is Mike. Next, another example, more example. Okay, one more. We have here. Okay, example, this is folk. 
and folk has a computer. This one. How do we say that this is folk's computer? We are going to say it's folk's computer, meaning the computer owns by folk. Okay, the computer is owned by folk. So we say this one, we add folk's computer. Naka. Okay, so the main name there is folk. We just need to add apostrophe S so that we will know or the other people will know that this computer owns by folk. Okay? Another example, we have here a picture of Shania. Okay, example, this is Shania and this is Shania's doll. Okay, so how do we say that one? We cannot say this is Shania Dal. Okay, Damai, that's wrong. It's Shania Dal. No, it's not good to hear, Damai. It's not a good or it's not a correct grammar. So, we need to uh, add apostrophe S so that we will know that the doll owns by Shania. Okay, so we can say it's Shania's doll. Okay. There you go. So, example, let's read again. It's Mike's kite. So, let's add apostrophe. So, we'll know that the kite owns by Mike. It's folks' computer. Okay, the computer owns by folk. It's Shania's doll. The doll owns by Shania. We just need to add, add apostrophe S. Yes. Okay. Next, let's go to your student's book, page 19 to 27. Okay, we're going to answer your book na ka, but before that, we're going to watch a clip from your book. Exercise 5, page 18. Listen, point, and repeat. Phone book. Clock. TV. Computer. Bike. Radio. That is uh, some of our vocabulary. Next, we have, oh, let's read, phone book, phone book, clock, TV, computer, bike, radio. Okay, that's some of our vocabulary. You can see this one on your student's book. So, we have here... Activity 7, naka, we're going to answer this one in our PowerPoint later, later on. Naka, okay, so we have here, possessive case, the one that I have discussed about you, the apostrophe S. So, it's extras, toy. So, meaning this toy belongs to extra, naka, okay? Let's watch this video. You listen, naka, okay? Is this your family, Wendy? Yes. This is my father, Bob. And that's my mother, Anne. Is this your grandfather? Yes. His name is Bill. And that's my sister, Lucy. This is my grandmother, Doris. And this is our friend, Extra. Hello, Oscar. Extra is our secret friend. Now I'm your friend too, Oscar. Look, this is Extra's spaceship. It's fantastic. And what's this? It's my phone book. What's your phone number, Oscar? 334 
there you go. That's the story of Wendy and his friends. They use the apostrophe S here. Where can we find that one? This one. Where is that? This one. Look, it's... I look, this is extra spaceship, meaning this is uh, owned by extra naka, okay? So, next, let's listen naka. Exercise 12, page 22. Listen, read, and complete. I'm Oscar. Meet my family. This is my dad and this is my mum. My dad's name is David and my mum's name is Linda. This is my brother. His name is James. This is my sister. Her name is Becky. Look at my grandfather and my grandmother. His name is Harry, and her name is Alice. There you go. This is the family of Oscar. We're going to answer this one later on. Okay, so prepare your book. Uh huh. Okay, let's read. Follow along. Follow with teacher naka. Okay, so, I'm Oscar. Meet my family. This is my dad. And this is my mom. This is dad's. This is Oscar's dad. This is Oscar's mom. The name of the father is David. The name of the mother is Linda. And this is his brother. Its name is James. This is her, uh, his sister, his na her name is Becky. This is his grandfather. His name is Harry. And this is his grandmother named Alice. Okay, we're going to answer that one later on. Naka. Okay. Okay, let's talk with your friends. But this one, we can use this one next time when we are going to fa have face-to-face. -face. Oh, listen to this again. Exercise 14. Page 23. Listen. Play the game. Whose is this? It's Cindy's. Okay, so whose is this? Meaning the teacher is asking who owns the radio. So the friend says it's Cindy's. Okay, so we know already that the radio owns by Cindy Naha. Okay, next sound spot. You listen carefully. Sound spot, page 23. Listen and say P, jump, clap. D. Sad. Hand. Okay, so sound spot. We have here letter P. The sound of letter P is P. P. Next, we have jump. The ending sound of letter P. Ending sound of letter P. P. Jump. Clap. And the ending sound letter D, 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 sad. And we have the word hand. Jump, clap, sad, hand. Okay, let's go to our next. Listen to this song, okay? Tie your shoe Three, four, close the door Five, six, count the ticks Seven, eight, don't be late Nine, ten, take your pen and sing The numbers song, sing along The numbers song, sing along 
sing along to the number song. The number song, sing along. The number song, sing along. Sing along to the number song. One, two, tie your shoe. Three, four, close the door. Five, six, count the ticks. Seven, eight, don't be late. Nine, ten, take your pen and sing. The number song, sing along. The number song, sing along. Sing along to the number song. The number song, sing along. The number song, sing along. Sing along to the number song. Okay, that was a great song. Okay, so if you want to learn the lyrics, we have here one, two, tie your shoe. Let's read. One, two, tie your shoe. Three, four, close the door. Five, six, count the ticks. Seven, eight, don't be late. Nine, ten, take your pen and sing. The number song, sing along. The numbers Song, sing along. Sing along to the numbers song. Okay, that was a great uh, lyrics. That was a great song. Okay, so let's go to Meet the Jetsons. Okay, let's have this one. Oh, I'm going to show this to you for your additional vocabulary. The Jetsons. So... The Jetsons are a family of, uh, it's a show in United States, okay? They watch this one in United States. So, we have here blank. We're going to answer this one same on your book later on, okay? So, listen later on. Okay, and we also have here rhyming time. Listen. Okay, one more. Rhyme time. We're going to write the words that rhymes together. Okay, put the rhyming words in correct place. So we have here two shoe. Okay, they have the sound ending sound. Same, same ending sound. Two shoe. Okay, listen. Exercise 16, page 24. Rhyme time. Put the rhyming words in the correct place. Listen and check. 2. Shoe. Zoo. 4. More. Door. 6. Ticks. Fix. 8. Plate. Late. Ten. Hen. Pen. So we have the rhyming words. Tu, shu, zu. Okay, same, same sound, am I? We have four. Door. More. Okay. We have six. Ticks and fix. We have eight. We have plate and late. Same, same ending sound. Ending sound, this one. We have ten. Hen. Pen. Okay, we have the sa same sound. E-N. N, N, N. Okay, there you go. Okay. 
We also have here our ASEAN countries. We're going to answer them on your book. So let's listen and let's go to your PowerPoint book. Uh, PowerPoint. Okay, so let's go to page 19 of your student's book. We're going to answer them all together. Naka. So page 19, we're going to complete. Okay, listen. Complete use Oscars or Wendy's. Okay, we have here apostrophe S. Okay, so let's answer. The pink bike is Wendy's. Okay, so let's take a look at the words that they said here. Bike, pink bike, orange radio, brown ball, and yellow kite. Okay, so let's take a look at the pink bike. Okay, Wendy is holding the pink bike. So it's Wendy's pink bike or the pink bike is Wendy's. Next, we have here the orange radio. So, let's take a look at the orange radio. This one, the orange radio is, who is this? This is Oscar. So, we're, can, we, we, we're going to say Oscars. Oscars radio. Okay. Next, we have here brown ball. Okay. So, we have here brown ball. We're going to write Oscar or Wendy's. Okay. So, the brown ball is on Wendy's side. So, it's. Wendy's. The yellow kite is yellow kite. Okay, so the yellow kite is on Oscar. So we're going to write Oscars. Okay, the yellow kite is Oscars. The brown ball is Wendy's. The orange radio is Oscars. The pink bike is Wendy's. Okay, so let's uh, go to activity 9. Look, read, and match. Okay, we're going to match one numbers to the letters. So, it's Tom's ball. So, many, meaning we're going to look for a picture of a ball. So, that's in letter C. Okay, next, number 2. It's Wendy's computer so let's take a look at the word computer okay so it's le in letter d next it's lin's kite let's take a look at the person holding a kite it's in letter a so it's lin's kite number four it's cindy's bike okay let's take a look at the person holding a bike it's in letter B. So, the answer is letter B. Okay. That's the answer for page 19. Let's go page 22. Naka. Okay. We've already answered this one a while ago. We've listened to it. So, we know the answers already. What is the name of Oscar's dad? It's David. Okay. How about Oscar's mom? Name a lie. It's a lie. It's... It's Linda. Okay, this one. Next, number three. Who is James? That is Oscar's brother. Okay, next. We have number four. Who is that? That is Oscar's sister. What's her name? Her name is Becky. Next, we have number five grandfather okay so who is uh, what is the name of his grandfather it's harvey so what's the spelling of the word grandfather g-r-a-n-d-f-a-t-h-e-r grandfather next how about grandmother or her grandmother is alice what is the spelling of grandmother okay there you go G R A. N D M O T H E R, grandmother. There you go. Next page twenty three. We're going to listen and play the game. So the teachers ask, "Who's this? This is okay, or it's Cindy's? It's Cindy's radio, or it's Cindy's?" Okay. So if I ask you, uh, if teacher will ask you, who? Whose whose is this? This one. 
Whose is this? It's Lynn's pencil. How about this one? Whose is this? This is Oscar's pencil. Oh, how about this one? Who's, whose is this? This is Cindy's. Okay, or you can say it is Cindy's book or notebook. Okay. Let's go page 23. Let's sound spot. Let's read P. P. Jump. The ending sound jump, clap, and letter D. Ending sound D. Sad and hand. Okay, we read this one a while ago. Let's go page 24. Let's read. One, two, tie your shoe. Three, four, close the door. Five, six, count the ticks. Ticks means correct or check. This one or mark check. Seven, eight, don't be late. Nine and ten, take your pen and sing. The numbers song, sing along. The numbers song, sing along. Sing along to the numbers song. Okay, they are rhyming them, I eh? Have you... Uh, Observe, they have the same end. Two, shoe, four, door, six, sticks, eight, late, ten, pen. Okay, we're going to answer page 24, this one. We're going to write the rhyming words of two, four, six, eight, and ten. So, two, shoe. What's the word that he said a while ago? Do, zoo. Okay. Next, we have four. We have the word for. For, what's the next one? For, door, more. Okay, how about number six? The ending is six. So, ticks. Okay, let's write ticks, fix. Next, we have eight. Eight. We have the word play, late or plate. Okay, and plate. And we have the word ten, hen, pen, hen or pen, hen. Okay, they have ending sound. Then my same same ending sound. Late, late, ticks, fix, door, more. Okay, let's read. Shoe, uh, two, shoe, zoo, four, door, more, six, ticks, fix, eight, late, plate. Ten, pen, hen. Okay. Same, same sound, am I? Next, we have page 25. We have here the Judson's family. So, we're going to fill in the blanks that they have uh, given us. Okay. So, we have here the name George and Jane are the mother. Okay. Elroy is the son. Judy is the daughter or the sister. Next, they have the pet dog, Astro. And we have here the alien friend. Am I? Okay, this is the alien friend names Orbiti. Orbiti, and we have the last one. We have the robot, Rosie. Okay, so let's try to answer. The Jetsons family and their friends are popular American cartoon characters. So one and Two are Elroy and Judy's parents. What's the name of Elroy and Judy's parents? Their, their names are George and Jane. This one, George and Jane. Hmm. Next, they live in Orbit City. They've got a pet dog. It's called, what's the name of their pet dog? It's called Astro. Okay. Look at the friends. This is Blank, the robot. Okay, what's the name of the robot? It's Rosie. Okay. She helps the Jetsons family at home. And look at the, sm at the small cute one. That's Blank, the alien. What's the name of the alien? It's Orbiti. Okay, he is a pet too. He can change color the Jetsons family are very funny family. Okay, so Jetson fam family are funny. 
There you go. Write your answers correctly. Let's go page 26. Read and complete. I'm going to read it for you. You're going to answer. Okay, so you have here the word family in ASEAN culture. Hello, I'm Fatima. I come from the Philippines. I live in my family. I am very happy. This is my family. My father's name is Sudan. I call him Ama. My mother's name is Jasmine. I call her Ina. I have got one brother. Okay, so this is the ma the brother. We have here the father. They called him or she called him Ama. And the mother, the mother is Jasmine. She called her Ina. Okay, so there you go. We also have here another family, a group of family. My name is Aninda. I come from Indonesia. This is my father and mother. My father's name is Bima. I call him Aya. My mother's name is Inda. I call her Ibo. I have got one brother and one sister. So this is Aninda's father. Aninda's father called Aya. Aninda's mom called Ibo. And he or she got a brother and a sister. Okay, so we're going to answer the questions that was given to us. Okay. Number one, Fatima comes from, who is Fatima and who is Aninda? Okay, so Fatima comes from the Philippines. Okay, this one, this one, Philippines. So let's write the word fam Philippines. Okay, the Philippines. And we have number two. Aninda comes from what place? From Indonesia. Okay, there you go. Next page 19. Uh, page 19. Page 27. Okay, let me check this one. Okay, just a moment. Okay, look, find and write the words in the table here, the tables here. So we have here father and mother. We're going to write how they called the their father and mother in the Philippines and in, in Indonesia. Okay, so we have the Philippines, they called the father Ama. And in mother, they called the mother Ina. In Indonesia, they called the father Aya and mother, they call it Ibu. Ibu, okay. So, father, ama, Aya, mother, ina, Ibu. Okay, so we've done our activity for today. We've finished your page 19, 23, 24, 25, and 26 of your student's book. Okay, so that is for today, grade 3. Thank you for listening for teacher, teacher Harriet. And see you again next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.